Welcome back to What's in Your Skillet. Today we'll be making a simple vanilla almond granola. My mama was a type that always had a dang saying for everything. One of her infamous ones, which she would tell me when I was a teenager, was everything that looks good to you ain't always good for you. Now, she meant that in regards to the little boys that started getting my attention in school, but the same theory can be applied to food as well, if not even better. Think about the fast food advertisements that interrupt your video on YouTube because you don't have the premium version. That quadruple cheeseburger with fries and a Coke, or those hot crispy chicken tenders with your favorite dipping sauce and a Dr. Pepper. Now you know that that stuff is in no way good for you, but you're attracted to it. You want it anyway. Which is why this cute little saying my mama used to tell me is even more applicable in my life as an adult now that I have my own children who I'm choosing to be more thoughtful of when shopping for different snacks, ready to make dishes, and so on. Sometimes I definitely end up siding with the kids and fold because some of that stuff sure look good. And other times, my willpower withstands because I know I can make it at home. Just like those times when you'd be out with your mom or your dad and claim to be so hungry, thinking you're gonna get you some Mickey D's when the devastating response is, we have Mickey D's at the house. Now, I finally understand what that means, which is what led me here with this particular snack and deciding to give it a try because granola is one of those things that my kids love to snack on, but is also a snack that can sometimes pack a bunch of sugars and unnecessary ingredients for it to be such a simple snack. And this is not to rag on anyone because I completely understand saving time, saving money, the all-in-one convenience of having a meal already made for you. But I will say, if you have some rolled oats, some salt, honey, or another liquefied sweet sticky substance, almonds or nuts that you do like, vanilla extract and coconut oil, this particular recipe here came together in under an hour with about five to seven minutes worth of prep time, 30 minutes to bake and 10 minutes to cool. And let me tell you, because you don't have to babysit this, those 30 minutes in the oven can actually be taking time for yourself. Condition your hair, clean a room in your house, do a quick workout, meditate, or do absolutely nothing. This recipe is also great because it's customizable to your taste buds. Don't like almonds, but you like walnuts or cashews? Cool, add those in instead. Allergic to honey? Sorry about that, but use some maple syrup or brown rice syrup. I even sprinkle some flaxseed meal on the top of mine before baking. The idea is the choice is yours because you can make it look good and taste good for you. Just a little food for your skillet.